What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Fall Guys tip video. In today's video we're going to be talking about egg scramble and how to win at egg scramble 100% of the time using this strategy. Now if you're new around here, I do videos like this, tip videos for Fall Guys, leaks, discussion videos. I do it all here on the channel. So if again, you're new, hit that subscribe button, it's totally free. Also, if you have any questions about the strategy, let's have that discussion in the comment section of this video. I answer all comments, so let's meet down there. As well, if you find this helpful or informative at any point, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the video. Now, without no further ado, you're like, yo, there's no way, no way you can win egg scramble 100% of the time. And I might agree with you, yes, not 100% of the time, but literally every time I'm playing egg scramble, I'm winning guaranteed following this strategy. Now, it's a strategy that is not super genius. To me, it's kind of obvious, but a lot of people just immediately want to just score points for their team. So they're naturally just grabbing eggs and running to their team's goal, as you can see here, me doing it. And again, that's not a inherently a bad thing to do. But what I do, and I stick to 100% of the time I play egg scramble, and 100% of the time I win egg scramble by doing this strategy, I grab an egg inside of an opponent's team goal, bring it out, and just drop it outside of the goal that is actually counting as you can see i'm not even moving it anywhere anybody on any team can grab these eggs put it in there and i'm just literally just putting it on top and just throwing it out as you can see there's even a person on the blue team helping a brother out just to grab these eggs and just throw it out of the yellow team's basket now granted sorry team yellow i know there's a lot of hate for team yellow right now but again this this is what i do every time i play a scrum it's a team game and one way to 100 percent of the time sabotage a team is to go in there and just drop as many eggs outside of their counter space outside of their goal as possible now as you can see i'm not even going and putting it on my own goal i'm just literally making sure that there is at least one team lower than my goal actually has now Granted, yes, you cannot control your teammates. Your teammates might suck and your teammates might not do what they're doing. Yes, you might get into a match where even if you do this, you still gonna lose because your teammates are just running around aimlessly, not even grabbing eggs. I had matches like that, trust me. However, this is a certain way to make sure that a team is being dramatically hurt and being having negative scores just for, again, just going in, grabbing the eggs, and throwing it out. Now, moving on to another game, I wanna share a quick tip for a game of Tag Tail. Now, you can also do this in the Team Tag Tail game, but I'm gonna be showing you how I actually grab the tail and hold it within Tag Tail. Or again, 99% of the time, it is a weird and unique jump to actually have to master, but once you got it mastered, you can literally juke and out move opponents all the time because the jump is while it's not too difficult a lot of players won't expect it coming and if they do they gotta land right next to you and then get up and then grab your tail so the trick i'm doing you've probably seen a couple of people do this before and again it's just running and jumping and staying on these outer ledges making sure that you don't jump obviously to a ledge where there is a player without a tail and also make sure you avoid these hammer because if they hit you you're going to be smacked across the map you have to get up and then reposition yourself in a place where again there is nobody with these tails again as you can see right here i am able to out move and out maneuver people that are jumping for me to grab tails and to me it's just a very simple move once you learn it and once you master it it becomes real easy to again juke and out maneuver opponents and tail grab okay now let's talk about tiptoe now tiptoe is very very it could be chaotic it could be very random and again you just gotta learn how to look at the playing field and see where you have to go. One thing that you will notice is that you see 
tile's shape. And when you do see tile shape, that means that that tile does not contain a floor underneath and it will 100% of the time just drop you into the abyss. So again, avoid tiles that you see that are shaped. Now, as you can see here, there are players that are just taking the leap of faith and just running and jumping. If you do see players that are doing that, I wouldn't advise it. I would say follow it. A, a bunch of the time, if you can also make the jump, you can also be the person to make the assumption or make a decision that can get you to the last tiles to win in a tiptoe match. Another tip I want to give about tiptoe is that if you are at the last three tiles in front of the goal, you are 100% to just run up and jump at the very end and die for the goal because 100% of the time, the last three tiles will be a straight line to the goal. That's just something that's implemented and baked into the game. So again, anytime you see the last three tiles inside of Tiptoe, you can literally just run and jump and go ahead and grab a qualifying position inside of that match. Now, Fall Mountain. Now, this one, to me, it's all about positioning and then also about not giving up. A lot of people that I see lose Fall Mountain, fall, get hit by a hammer, and just give up. Look at my daughter right here in this gameplay, just running up the mountain, and I'm literally just telling my daughter, don't give up. Keep going. She gets hit by a ball. She keeps running no matter what. I'm like, just keep going. And she does. And what happens? Her opponents get hit, get smacked around. She gets the lead on them and just keeps going. No worrying about the other people in the match. Don't worry about the balls. Don't worry about the hammers. Just make sure that you are positioning yourself for success as far as moving out of the way. To the balls and you will be able to win the fall mountain it's really nothing to it you're just running up a mountain and yes my daughter won this match my daughter is four years old she literally just ran up fall mountain and again i was just like don't give up she got hit with the ball and immediately looked at me and was like that like I, I lost and i was like no just keep going keep trying and she kept trying and she ended up winning this match so again, if a four-year-old can do it, I'm pretty sure you guys can do it out there. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about these tips. Are you going to use it in your next game of Fall Guys? And how would you improve on any of these strategies? Let's have that conversation in the comment section below. Now again, if you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the family. Hit the like button. It, it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it to other people out the video peace i love you guys i'll see you guys on the next cool guys tip video Woo! that one was cool my daughter actually won a game of four guys and she's 40 years old trust me guys trust me guys you guys can do this believe in yourself thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one